Now, uh, are you someone, or is someone in your house, one of the thousands of gamers hoping to get their hands on the new gaming consoles due to be released in the coming weeks? Well, both uh, Xbox and PlayStation have new devices coming out, and our tech correspondent, we've already uh, Mm -hmm. heard, is here with us, Jess Kelly, in the flesh, which makes a nice change from on the line, I have to say, uh, joins us with details. So... What about these new consoles and what's all the controversy about this? Uh, so this is a big deal because it's been some years since we've had new consoles and like a bus, you wait for one and then two comes at once. So we now have uh, the new devices from Xbox. We have the Xbox Series X, which is the fancy pants one, and the Xbox Series S, which is the less fancy pants one. The key difference there is that one will play discs, the other you just download the games onto the console. And then again, PS5, so PlayStation, we have two consoles, similar concept. There's the PS5 and the PS5 Digital Edition. There's been a lot of hype around this. They teased it for such a long time and certain gaming stores then went and released uh, the option to pre-order a console even before the official launch. So some shops were saying from sort of June, July time, uh, pre-order with us now, leave a deposit and pre-order your console now because there's going to be such a demand. Obviously, a lot of people who are super excited about this did that. Mm -hmm. And then when the official pre-orders became available, uh, certain shops were oversubscribed. So not only did they sell or assign their pre-order stock, but they were continuing to take them. And now they have had to tell people that not only uh, are the the, the pre-orders gone, we can't guarantee a console uh, on the day of launch. We can't guarantee a console for Christmas. And even Santa may struggle to get his hands on some of these as well. So this is a bit of a disaster for a number of reasons. Um, and I think that we, some of the PlayStation have come out and they tweeted a few times saying, look, that could have been smoother, that could have been slicker. We're going to do our best to put more consoles um, out there for pre-order and make them available. But I fully anticipate you guys chatting to Quinny one of the days to talk about the rugby scrums outside some of the shops uh, on the day that these consoles become available. How did PlayStation allow that? I mean, they've been doing this and managing these launches and turning them into events for how many years now? And how, how was it just the retailers got greedy? I think it was a, no. I think it was the perfect storm of incredible hype, such demand, and then you've got a pandemic in the middle as well, which is going to interrupt things like the the production and um, the shipping of these devices. I do think that there is going to be an issue, and as I said, a lot of the stores are now warning people that you know you may not get it on launch day, which is the whole point of a pre order. You may not get it for Christmas, and as I said, Santa may struggle as well.